Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here, and I'm gonna bring you the most broken necromancer build that you've ever seen in the album before. Quite frankly, you are a degenerate if you run this, so if you are gonna run it, just go ahead and assume that title. Not only do you have hellacious damage, but you are quite literally unkillable. This build is so effective that even a smooth brain like Asmongold could pull it off, right? So what you guys are witnessing on the screen now is the absolute and utter abuse of Corpse Explosion. Notice we're not using an ability to proc Corpse Explosion, we're actually using an aspect which is proccing Corpse Explosion for us. It literally kills everything around us. A huge chain reaction of death and destruction everywhere. So to the skeptics out there, you may be asking yourself, well, what if I don't have any corpses? Good thing is, don't worry about it. We're going to generate a metric crap load of corpses on its own and take a look at this boss. Yeah, he just gets completely murdered and we are having corpses to begin with. And we're going to explain all that in this video. Let me preface this by saying this is nowhere near the final form of the build, okay? I've yet to come across one of the unique items I need and once I do, you best bet I'm going to min-max this and I'm going to make an amendment video at some point during the beta showing you guys how I play everything out. So if you want to be notified when I post that content, just hit the bell notification icon and while you're down there, you might as well hit the like and subscribe button, you know? Okay, so I'm going to break this up into a couple different parts. We're going to be kind of interweaving our gear in our talent trees because it makes sense for me to talk about the gear as I get to the talent. So quickly starting off, you're going to go decompose, enhance decompose, and then acolytes decompose. Moving over to our core skills now, now, this is where you can flex. Now, I think ideally you'll want to put all your points into Bone Spear. You'll want a plus four Bone Spear and then, of course, the Enhanced Bone Spear as well as the Supernatural Bone Spear. Now, I was testing some things and Hued Flesh will give you a small chance to produce more corpses, but we're already producing a plethora of corpses, so this is kind of wasted on, in my opinion. So it would be better to put these points from Hued Flesh into Bone Spear. Next is the most important part of the build and I will take some time to explain this a little bit more in depthly. So this is our corpse and macabre skills. So what you want to do, you're going to skill blood mist. Now if you're unfamiliar with what blood mist does, you disperse into a bloody mist becoming immune for 3 seconds, meaning you're not going to take any damage. Your movement speed is reduced, don't worry we're taking care of that with an aspect and you periodically do a little, little bit of damage and heal. That's not what's really good about this ability, okay? So you're going to, we'll talk about that in just a second, you're going to take Enhanced Blood Mist and then you're going to take Ghastly Blood Mist, okay? So Ghastly Blood Mist is very underrated because this actually produces a corpse for you every one second while you're in your mist form. Naturally, you'll want to stack everything in the Corpse Explosion. Any gear that you have to increase the ranks of your Corpse Explosion, please put them on your gear because this will make it even better. At the time of recording this, I'm only at plus 7. I think you can actually get up to plus 9. Not 100% sure on that. You'll want to go Enhance Corpse Explosion as well as Plague Corpse Explosion. So you're going to be dealing increased damage to vulnerable targets. Your Bone Spear is going to make everyone vulnerable, so let me kind of backtrack a little bit and talk about Bone Spear. One of the pieces of gear we're running is actually on our gloves, which is Bone Spear's primary attacks make enemies hit beyond the first hit of your Bone Spear vulnerable, meaning pretty much everyone you hit with your Bone Spear is going to be vulnerable. Now you can put this on your weapon, getting a doubling effect of this, so instead of making everyone only vulnerable for 1.7 seconds, you can actually put this aspect on your weapon and get it for an entire 3.4 seconds. Alright, so coming back to Blood Mist, why is this good? Now, this is the bread and butter of the build. You don't have to have anything else that I'm running on the build. It's just icing on the cake. But this one aspect is absolutely necessary. So this aspect, Blood Mist, triggers corpse explosions on surrounding corpses. When Blood Mist detonates a corpse, its cooldown is reduced by 2.3 seconds. So intrinsically, Blood Mist has a cooldown of 19 seconds, but guys, when you cast this, as you saw at the beginning clip, this reduces the cooldown to literally zero. You can stay in your mist form permanently, and while you're in your mist form, you're immortal. So you guys are kind of seeing the synergy and seeing the engine here, so naturally you're going to want to produce as many corpses as physically possible, and that's kind of what the rest of the build revolves around. So we went one point into Grim Harvest, and of course, you'll have Fueled by Death, all three points, you deal 12% increased damage for 4 seconds after consuming a corpse, and we are consuming a corpse uh, quite a bit. Next, your curse skills completely ignore that. Next is your other corpse and macabre skill. I think this might be a typo because this is corpse and macabre. 
and this is also corpse and macabre I, I think this might be a typo i'm not 100 sure but anyway you want to skip this tree completely now when i make an amendment to this build there will be a bone spirit component to this so there is an aspect which i will cover at the end of the video that allows you to produce blood spores or blood orbs or whatever and there's also another aspect you can put on your gear such that when you pick up a blood orb you actually produce one of these blood spirits doing hellaciously increased damage um, that's not going to come until a later point because it is actually a unique chest item which i've yet to get to drop but when i do i'll let you guys know now you're gonna come down and put your remaining points into army of the dead prime army of the dead and then supreme army of the dead so this chain of events of army of dead is kind of going to be our reset button because sometimes when you face a boss they actually kill all your minions and if you don't have any corpses around to revive them you're kind of screwed well army of the dead actually raises all your corpses back and it's going to produce a lot of corpses for you to use for your corpse explosions etc all right so let's talk about book of the dead for a second so your warriors you're actually going to keep you want to go with your reapers and then you'll want to go with the second bubble here this is going to allow your reapers to actually produce corpses from not actually killing enemies next we're going to go over into your skeletal mages you'll want to toggle cold okay you'll want to sacrifice them and the reason we're sacrificing them is because it is going to give you 15 percent increased damage against vulnerable targets and then if you're using bone spears with the correct aspects pretty much everyone is vulnerable all the time last but certainly not least is our valiant golem frank god i love frank frank is cool man frank looks awesome so at the point of making this video, 25 is the level cap, so you can't go into Blood Golem, you can't go into Iron Golem. I think ideally we'll go with Blood Golem when it, uh, we're actually able to when the game goes live, but for the time being, you'll want to go with Bone Boy, and then you'll want to go with the first option you have here. Each time your Bone Golem takes up 20% of its maximum health as damage, it sheds a corpse. This is actually really strong because the Golem has an active door, it taunts everyone in a huge AoE, forcing them to attack him, plus he gets a movability, plus he gets um damage decrease so he actually sheds a lot of corpses i'm kind of going over the skills on the bar i know i've already went over everything but uh, let me go and explain race skeleton so race skeleton obviously is going to raise your skeletons but a lot what a lot of people don't know is that when you have all your skeletons out and if you cast your race skeleton ability again it actually summons a priest and that priest is going to heal all of your skeletal minions and it's also going to increase the damage done so just a little tidbit there if you see that some of your health on your warriors are low well just cast this and we heal them back up to full okay and again we've already went over the golem he does this taunt he gets unstoppable yada yada red mother build is blood mist you're literally just going to kill like literally one corpse you want to open with your spear put vulnerability on them kill them roll over them with the corpse and you're just going to delete everything around you it's not that hard army of the dead this is what you'll be using to really kill bosses in case your army dies or you need more corpses on the spot you can just resurrect your entire army this is kind of what that's there is like a oh crap button you know what i mean plus all of the extra zombies that's gonna pop up and throw themselves at the boss and do a bunch of splash damage they leave a corpse mine as well and then you explode that corpse and or you can yeah, there's all kinds of things you can do with them okay decompose is just kind of there for a spammable and then last but certainly not least is bone spear this is how you want to get a vulnerability on all your targets now just keep in mind guys this is simply a guide change it however you want now we are going to take a trip over to the diablo build calculator i just want to show you guys a tool that you can use to alter the build however you want maybe there's an aspect you might find that works better you know there's always room for improvement but before we head on over there i just want to show you guys what i'm running just kind of give you an idea of what you want so you definitely want anything that's going to give you skill points in a corpse explosion you obviously want to slot that now bone spear again it's gonna make whatever bone spear hits vulnerable okay now we have these boots these boots are really nice because it increases the amount of skeletal warriors that you're going to have another good aspect to have you definitely do not want this on your weapon i just want to show you guys you know proof of concept so this one's about blood mist so it leaves a trail and blah 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 for four seconds but it doesn't hinder your movement speed whatsoever so that 20 percent decrease to your movement speed you know it's kind of hard to get around you can actually be zooming around the map with all your corpses so the next little item i've tossed on here is a pretty decent aspect act is uh up to a 10 percent chance to generate 32 essence when hitting a vulnerable enemy with your bone skills so if you go with you know the increased vulnerability duration and then your bone spear also refracts and it, when it crits it actually splits and hits all kinds of people so this can actually refund almost the entire cost of your bone spear allowing you to pretty much infinitely just just spam them right again guys this is nowhere near mid max i just want to get those cogwheels turning for you guys so you can make your own build out of it 
All right, so let me direct you to the Diablo 4 build calculator. Now, this is an invaluable tool. I will leave a link down in the description below. This tells you absolutely everything you need to know about the Necromancer and where to find it. For example, what a lot of people don't know is uh, when they're trying to ascertain certain aspects, certain aspects only drop on certain pieces of gear. For example, the offensive aspects come in one-handed, two-handed weapons, off-hand gloves, amulets, and rings. Now, I wasn't kidding at the beginning of the video when I said this build was not in its final form. Let me direct you to one unique item. This is called Blood Artesian's Curious. So, when you pick up Blood Orbs, a free Bone Spear is spawned, dealing massive bonus damage depending on your current life's percentage. Well, you're always going to be 100%, first of all. If you guys don't know what Bone Spear does, this is your hardest hitting spell in your kit by far. So you skeptics may also be wondering, well, how are you going to generate blood orbs? There's nothing on that build whatsoever that is going to allow you to generate a blood orb easily. That's where this aspect comes in on our defensive. Consuming a corpse has a percent chance to spawn a blood orb. You see this energy? So at one point, this build will be absolutely even more devastating and broken. If you thought the Sorcerer's Hydra build was toxic, this is so much worse. And again, guys, I'm not going to go over all the aspects. Now, there are all kinds of things to keep out for. You can look at this at your own leisure. I'm not really going to go through all this, but for you build crafters out there, this is an invaluable resource for you guys to have. Thank you for watching till the end. If you made it this far in the video, you are an absolute chad. I really appreciate you. Speaking of appreciations, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members, without whom this channel would not be possible. I appreciate each and every single one of you. If you have any questions, guys, feel free to hit me up in the Discord. I will be available pretty much all weekend. So if you're unclear about something, just hit me up, okay? And if you found any information useful on this video, I would really appreciate a like and sub. There's a lot more D4 content coming forward. I want to have a lot more builds for you guys. News, exploits, literally everything. With all that being said, guys, this has been Horcrux, and I'm peacing out for the night. It's time for me to go to bed, and it's like 2 a.m. Peace.